Phenomenal. We were really good. So with uh, Chef Alim, he's one of the well-known folks down here in Chicago. That's where in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot, we just came from Chicago yesterday. I love Chicago, man. Chicago is a great city, such a great food city. It's not even a joke how great the food city is. There's so much food there. Oh, yeah. And the, the Polish community, phenomenal. I, like, I just want to go there and live with a Polish woman just so she can teach me how to make sauce. <laughs> I'm not even lying. Well, um, we're with Chef Alim in Toronto at the Halal Food Festival and he's one of the go-to places we have to try out. So, um, while he's working with the steak, um, we're going to ask him some basic questions to see how he got here. Four minutes. As you can see, he's really busy, so we're going to try and make this quick. So, Chef Alim, tell us about your story. How did you get to the food truck business? Uh, I was cooking, uh, like my, my family was in cooking a long time ago. I picked it up. I started doing a cooking school uh, when I was maybe 19, 20, and that turned into me cooking at a lot of great places. I ended up in an accident, which left me paralyzed from my waist down. Uh, I owned Canada's first wheelchair accessible food truck, and um, yeah, I got a food truck and I started cooking again. Go ahead. Uh, so what made you choose the cuisine that you're doing right now? Like, what is the cuisine? Well, I'm classically French trained, okay. and this is just steak frites, which is a classic French dish that if you go to France you could uh, order and eat time of the day and um, I mean what's not to like about steak frites uh, we also did yeah I also did I like to cook, cook things on my truck that I eat on my day off steak I love barbecue wings so we're doing barbecue smoked wings uh, we're using the same fries that we're using with the frites we do fresh cut fries here in Canada so they're you know fried twice uh, we, and we're also going to be doing our holy poutine and we're doing our signature uh, burger which is called the holy burger Okay, what makes it signature? Uh, because it's the truck burger, it's the burger that we do off of this truck and it's what we're known for, it only has three simple ingredients on it and we make our own bun Oh, okay. in-house? In-house, okay So can you tell us about the preparation of the meat? Do you marinate it? No, as you can see we are, this is not marinated Okay this is a very, you see the marbling that's done on here? This is a Canadian um, uh, grass-fed Angus cow that we have here, and it's actually uh, very tender. This is a New York strip loin cut that we're using. And uh, you know, as you can see, I'm not even putting any salt and pepper on it as of yet. I'm just putting it straight on. Literally going on to our uh, Japanese charcoal that we're using. Um, it's, uh, Hardwood, it's actually Japanese charcoal. Why Japanese charcoal? It burns longer and it burns slower and it burns at a more constant, even temperature. Okay. And in result, we're going to get a perfect kind of meat. Okay. Like crew? Okay. Yeah. Because of the even temperature. Correct. Alrighty. This meat is just cut for you or? Okay. Yeah, no, we did this ourselves. Oh, you cut the meat yourself? Yeah. Okay. Long story short, I got a, uh, I got a gunshot wound to my S1 spine, okay. which uh, left me paralyzed from like pretty much like in my thighs down. Okay. I still have motor movements in my right feet, but I mean it is what it is. Like this is what uh, I, this is what God gave me. This is a second chance, I guess, in life. And you know, like they say, one shot. Yeah. I got shot once, so I also got one shot again in life. So you know. Hey, much that you you put a. And like also like. I mean, I'm, it is what it is, but also I'm, I'm like the younger generation. I represent, I represent um, an era of Muslim uh, individuals that have grow up in this world that are kind of a cross between, you know, living in North America and their and and kind of I'm not saying lost in their roots, but just being an American or Canadian, just being exactly. So I kind of represent a, a, a certain kind and. Uh, uh, an era of people, and uh, I love, I love that. You know what I mean? I really do. Fair enough. That's pretty cool. But thank you so much, man, for taking the time to talk to us. We really appreciate it. So, um, in case you haven't noticed, I'm in a different shirt because it's the second day of the Halal Food Festival. They actually ran out of steak. That's how popular this um, Holy Land Grill is. Uh, and today we're with Praveen, who's the foodie brother, uh, the guy we met yesterday, who totally roasted us in the other episode that you see. That's Amar, his younger brother. So, 
Uh, I'm gonna have Perwis try the steak first. All right. And it's medium rare, uh, triple E. This is really, you know, this is really tender. So do we dip this yeah, in? Yeah, try with the aioli plain however you want. And that's chipotle aioli by the way. And Look at his face, man. <laughs> that's so tender. That's really good, man. Yeah, and check out the the cut. That is just fantastic. Like you can see my finger. You can see the juices coming out. That is perfect. What do you think, Purvis? Bro, this is. Know, this is medium, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Taste is. Phenomenal. So th this is 20 Canadian word. dollars, right? Oh. But for a steak, that's not bad. This is really good. Wait, you want to try? Zin, what do you think? So I'm hanging with the chipotle aioli now. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they made the chipotle aioli themselves because um, the spice rub is different. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Not a fan? No, I'm not, not, not a fan. It's good, but it's not what I was expecting. What were you expecting? So, yeah, like, I have to rip it apart, so, which I'm not expecting. So I basically tried the steak, and it's, uh, what kind of steak was it? Your strip, you said? Yep. But it's like black Angus steak, uh, the quality of it. It tastes really tender and good, but it's, it, for me, it wasn't pulling up. It didn't melt in my mouth like I expected it to be. So I'm not sure, but it's still a phenomenal steak. Still recommend it coming here if you come to Toronto to try the Holy, Holy Grill. Still really good steak. I think you're talking about filet mignon, man. That's the one that melts in your mouth. No, no. New York steak melts in your mouth? Any steak is supposed to just like melt. 